It was a mistake. That's the message from Metro Vancouver Regional District. After the Cleveland Dam spill gate unexpectedly opened last week, one person drowned and another is still unaccounted for. That the clearest contributing factor was human error related to programming of the control system for the spillway at the Cleveland Dam. Uh, Metro Vancouver takes responsibility for this mistake and our deepest sympathies go out to those affected by the tragic loss of life. It happened in the middle of the day on October 1st. A surge of water came down the river. One person was killed and another believed to be the son of the man who drowned is now presumed dead. Four others who went into the water were rescued or swam to safety. That much water should have never been released as quickly as it was. Fisherman Jeff Kershaw says he and his family are constantly on the Capilano River and it was only by chance they had opted to go somewhere else the day the game unexpectedly opened. The commissioner of Metro Vancouver says several new safety measures are being considered, including some sort of public warning system for future gate openings. But Kershaw doesn't think that would have made a difference in this case. People fish this river from the mouth all the way up to the dam. Uh, so there's, I don't know, 10, 15 kilometers of river that it would have to cover. Uh, but unfortunately, in a release like this, there's many spots on this river where fishermen wouldn't have the time uh, to react. Eight years ago, Greg Scalamugna says he was rescued from the Capilano River when the water rose too quickly for him to escape. He thinks an alert system would have helped and has been asking the district to create one ever since. Level was coming up, so we tried arm in arm to get together as a unit and get across, but there was a few people who were really quite scared. We decided to sit tight and, and call 911. Metro Vancouver is now trying to work out the feasibility of installing an alarm system that would alert of high river flow. The river can flow high quite often during the winter months. Um, the watershed is very large. Um, and large volumes of water uh, during storms uh, must pass through the dam. That public warning system would be alerted um, or would go off quite regularly if its trigger is high flows. Um, but that's not to say that we uh, don't believe it should be installed. Really moving forward, I, I think there has to be some sail, fail safes in place. Um, that would at least uh, require some form of human intervention before the dam is ever opened that uh, that quickly or that wide. In North Vancouver, Ashley Burr, City News.